Good afternoon. Hi everyone. Great to see you. How are you? Hope you're doing well. Hope you've been busy and hope you're still remaining active. So what have we got on for you today? Lots and lots of things and some exciting new things. Don't forget to get onto the chat and put your name on, say hi to everybody and you'll be entered into our red bucket and drawn out from the raffle today and a prize will follow shortly in the post. Bertie has got two new outfits. He's got his NHS outfit now and he's also got his outdoor education outfit. His green outfit, his new outfit, which you lads will be getting on your return to school. So he's really chuffed, he's got two new outfits now. Mr Campbell last week said to you guys, can you send in any photographs of you lot in action, he said. Anything to do with physical activity. And I don't know if some of you are going to plan to send some in over the next few days, but in the meantime, Mr Campbell wants to say a big well done to Mitchell. And we'll hear more about that later on when we talk about shout outs. But Mitchell did a long walk for sponsorship and Mr Campbell will be sending in a lovely little prize in the post. Well done, Mitch. I've also been given a challenge. I was given this box last week. And it's a box of what they call stickle bricks. Now, if you boys don't really know what stickle bricks are, ask your parents or perhaps even your grandparents, but I remember them well. And it's something that I really enjoyed playing with when I was younger. So these are stickle bricks, lots of different shapes, lots of different colors. And it was, it was something that we were really into when we were kids. So I've been challenged. I've been challenged to create, to make, let me just find it, an aeroplane. Okay, so this next week, I'm going to be trying to make an aeroplane and hopefully for assembly next week, you can give me scores out of 10. I also received a letter from three boys in school. It was a lovely letter, really well set out. Can you see they've got the address at the top, who it's from and who it's to, which is fantastic. And it's a very formal letter. And I know Miss Wilshaw will be really pleased because it's what we would call is a piece of persuasive writing. And if you remember what persuasive writing is, it basically encourages you to do something or to say something or to act in a particular way. So I'm going to read you a little bit about from this letter because I think it's a fantastic, I think it's really fantastic. So, dear Mrs. Ackroyd, I would like you to read this letter because I would love to keep the stray cat as a class pet. I am willing to buy the equipment for the cat. We are giving it a lot of attention and love. I wanted to ask if we could keep the cat as a class pet, please. And that was from love from Rehan, Harvey, Bailey and Connor. Um, they've made a name for the cat and it's called Bubbles. What I really thought was really exciting, or interesting I guess, was that they said in the summer holidays that they would continue to look after it. So they would use the pocket money and make sure that there was enough food for them over the six weeks holiday. We're not quite sure though how they're going to do that. And I'm not quite sure whether we really can have a, a pet cat. But I thought it was a fantastic letter. Well done, boys. So what's next? Birthdays. We have lots of birthdays this week. So happy birthday to Kirsty Helliwell, Simon Hogburn, Jill Kitchen, Rayhan and Riley. So it's happy birthday to you boys. Okay, on to the really exciting things. First up is Chelsea. Today I'm going to teach you some useful signs for interaction, starting off with open questions. So the first one, using our dominant hand, that's the hand we write with, using your index finger, what, what. Then we're going to go on to where, so where is at like waist level and we should go around in a circle twice. Where, where. Then we have when, so with your whole hand on your dominant finger, your foot is on the side of your cheek. When? When? Then we have how. So getting your knuckles and just touching them slightly together, do it twice. When? When? Oh, sorry, how? 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 And then we have 
why so using your dominant hand if you create sort of like an L shape and you spin this round why why instructions I could do something like you are next or your so your your foot in your fist your turn to talk or your turn to read and for some encouragement you are listening well that's good signing or that's good talking and you waited well hope that gives you something to practice and i'll see you again soon bye everyone Thank you very much Chelsea, awesome as usual. A big shout out to Edward, Bailey, Newsom, Riley Parkinson and Joe Notter. You boys will be entered into our prize draw just at the close of today's assembly. So if you have not put your name down in our chat, make sure you do so you can get entered. On to the, what we call the Pre de la Resistance, Mr. Allen. Hi fellas, so a moment of mystery. Today we're going to have a ball and a cup. A cup and a ball. The ball goes in the cup. The cup goes on the table. Tap the cup with your magic wand and the ball disappears. Thank you. So hopefully Tap the ball, tap the cup, and the ball appears. <laughs> so, put the ball back in the cup, put the cup on the table, tap the cup, and the ball disappears. Tap the cup again, no ball. Where's the ball? Well, if you were paying attention, you'd have realised it was in my pocket. So, we put the ball in the cup, we put the cup on the table, Tap the cup, and there's the ball. So, tap the cup again, and hey presto. Ladies and gentlemen, that's your moment of mystery. Thank you. So gentlemen, follow that one. I know Chelsea is in awe, watching on, thinking how did he do that? If you've got any ideas, post them now. A big shout out to Danny Booth. Great to see you, Dan. Great to hear from you. Fantastic. Okay. And didn't Alan look fantastic in his new magician's outfit? Okay, more from Alan next week. Over to John, Mr. Stead. What have you got in store for us this week, Mr. Stead? All right, morning. Uh, sorry, afternoon, boys. Again, as ever, hope you're all well, you've been safe, um, managing to keep yourselves occupied. Um, following on from Mr. Godfrey's um, marvellous magic, um, we've got a bit of science today, but it also involves, I suppose, a little bit of magic, okay? So, what I've got here in this cup is just some good old-fashioned drinking water. Okay, as you can see, it's transparent, there's nothing fancy about it, just good old WH, William Henry Smith School drinking water. Mmm, lovely. That's just to show that this, you know, I'm not I'm not cheating yet, this is just drinking water. Okay, so I'll put that back in there. So what we've got here then are two clear glasses. Alright, you can see them, clear, jam jars, alright. <coughs> And what I've got here is just two good old um, British coins, all right? Queen's head on one side, tails on the other. What I'm going to do is, I'm, today, with just two transparent glasses and good old transparent water, I'm going to make these two coins disappear. All right, so what you do is you place one coin, that's better on the table, one coin under that glass, one coin under that glass 
Uh, we've got uh, Mrs. Ackroyd just off the camera here. Can you just confirm that there's two coins under those glasses? Mrs. Ackroyd, can you just... Definitely two coins under those yeah. glasses. Mr. Godfrey behind the camera, can you see? Yes, sir. Okay, so watch very carefully. All I'm going to do is pour the water into the glasses and before your very eyes, the coins are going to disappear. Here we go. Tell me when the coin disappears, will you, Mr. Godfrey? Is that okay? Yeah. It's gone, sir. Are you sure? Positive. Absolutely? Yeah. And this one? Gone. Sure? Yeah. Positive? Yeah. Have I moved my other hand anywhere near the glasses? No. No? But you're definitely sure they've disappeared? Yes, sir. Okay, all right. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna lift the glasses up now and I'm gonna show you that those coins haven't disappeared. They are still where I put them. Are we ready? There we go. Okay, so that is how you make coins disappear using a glass and water. All right, looks like magic. It's not, it's science. I'll let you into a little secret. What happens is, is that when you pour the water into the glass, the light goes into the water and something happens called refraction, where the light bends and therefore it never actually hits your eye and goes into your brain so that you can then see the coin. So it looks like magic, but it's not, it's science. It's about light bending and the coin, uh, the image of the coin never actually being able to reach your eye, okay? And in the uh, immortal words of the late, great Tommy Cooper, that's how you make coins disappear in water. Ah, just, just like that. that. <laughs> Take care, see you next week. So I think there's a bit of a competition on here. What do you think, guys? Ooh. Yeah, magic, science, a bit of both. Fantastic. We've got some comments here just to read out to you. A uh, big hi to Jack Fox um, and to James Mark. I've seen you guys for a long time. Really looking forward to catching up with you. Um, a comment from Mrs. Godfrey um, to yourself, Alan, looking spiffing. And from Marie Portsmouth, uh, also saying fantastic job there. And also, you've lost some weight. But actually, I think the uh, waistcoat, has, waistcoat has really, really done you well. <laughs> fantastic. Okay, fantastic job, everyone. So I hope to see them, those guys with some more magic next, next week and some science facts as well too. Brilliant. We're coming to the close of our assembly, but as usual, we've got fantastic shout outs. You guys have been superbly busy this week, which is fantastic to see. In all these challenging circumstances, you're still getting out, getting busy, looking after yourselves and doing some amazing things. So a big well done to Dylan. Dylan for engaging well in, in a quality and diversity activity. Finlay for attending the virtual open day at Wakefield College. Harvey, Harvey Bass for producing a stack of work relating to Black Lives Matter and NASA. Leland for engaging well in quality and diversity and in all activities. Billy Joe for completing a five mile walk and an eight mile walk during activities. Excellent, Billy. Jack, Jack Doyle, for learning to do his shoelaces and engaging in a quality and diversity activity. Harry Eastwood, for being a keen learner and encouraging staff to join him on his journey. Fantastic, Harry. AJ, for doing life skills activities at home. Ryan Gray for showing great resilience and determination on an exploratory walk to Sunnyvale and back. Bailey Keast for cooking an amazing cake for his mum's birthday and producing a stack of work related to Black Lives Matter. William for learning to do his own shoelaces for cooking his own burgers and I saw them. They look absolutely delicious and for working through his emotions with a positive result. Faisan for engaging well in his outreach session and I saw photographs of that too. Alfie, Alfie Kirby for learning to do his shoelaces for his documentary about wildlife and engaging in quality 
and diversity activity. I think that's equality and diversity. Travis, for engaging positively with staff and displaying a splendid attitude. Well done, Travis. Lewis Lindo, for completing a five mile walk during evening activities. Jill Murphy, also for completing a five mile and an eight mile walk during evening activities. Harvey O'Flynn, for engaging well in equality and a diversity activity. Josh Osborne for showing great resilience and determination on an exploratory walk to Sunnyvale and back. Lucas Placatus for engaging well in an activity. Rayham for producing a stack of work relating to Black Lives Matter and for his superb letter. Delonte for completing an eight mile walk during evening activities. Gosh, you boys are going to be fit. Cameron Simpson for conducting himself well at Sham Castle and creating his 3D model. Caden, for engaging well in an equality and diversity activity and for enjoying his first overnight stay in Mozart. Well done, Caden. Alex Sumner, for engaging well in an equality and diversity activity. Gregory, for completing a five mile walk during evening activities. Well done, Greg. Lavelle for completing a five mile walk and an eight mile walk during activities. This is the one I was referring to earlier, Mitch. Mitchell for completing a 10 mile charity walk for the Fostering Network's COVID-19 appeal. Well done, Mitch. And I know school are going to contribute to your Just Giving page. And Connor for producing a stack of work relating to Black Lives Matter. Well done, Connor. Oh, and Charlotte, Charlotte Edwards form is just saying, when will the prizes get sent out? If you just tell me which prize you're waiting for, Charlotte, for Edward, then um, I'll make sure that that happens in the next few days. Most definitely. Okay, let's have a big reminder to make sure that you look at the compa companion video that should be sent out very soon, or via email and through our social media. Uh, means so that's fantastic and before we finish I just need the red bucket out please so everybody's put their name on the chat they're in the bucket and without having a peek Edward well, you will definitely have another prize in the post to you over the next few days as always boys Take care, look after yourself, keep fit, keep well and stay safe. And I haven't seen you recently, I hope to catch up soon. Bye for now.